All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay Sway, and uh, today we're playing another episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Hey, guy. Oh, thank you so much. I needed that. All right, so I need to take care of my food and hunger real quick. I am awfully low on. I need some water. <gasps> Here's my baby whale. So uh, I think one of you guys told me I should name him a Willy, Willy the Glow Whale. So that's his name from now on, Willy. Hey, Willy. Hey, Willy. You want to say hi to uh, all the viewers? Yeah, there you go. Good boy. All right, guys. So I think today's plan is uh, to go over to. Um, crap. I'm trying to find the map. Here it is. Okay, so we've been to the Delta. We've been to the Kappa Mining Facility. Um, we've also been uh, where? To the Fire Robotics Center. So I did this off camera, but I went back to the Fire Robotics Center. The whole like the whole area. The what's it called? The Glacial Bay area. This entire area over here, I think, is called the Glacial Bay area. Anyways, I went back to do some more exploring. I found a lot of shit. I meant to actually record it, but long story short, I didn't actually record me going back to. Um, to the fire robotic center, but I found like Sam's research base. I found the frozen Leviathan. I really wish I caught that on camera and a couple other things. I also got the, uh, the hover pad for the snow Fox. So I need to craft that like right away. I think I'm going to do that right now because I do want to go up here to the, what's it called? The outpost zero. I want to go there. It's on land. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and craft the, the bike. If I could do that from there, I think maybe if there's enough time in the video, I do want to go to the Omega lab. I want to find it at least. Right? And I think that should be it. Okay, so the hover bike. I think I have what I need. Let's see. Let me go back. Let me go check out my storage. I need two silver and two titanium. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let me make sure I'm good on. Okay. Good on that stuff there. All right, so I've got a few. I got these uh, shrub nuts, which I didn't know actually heal your health. That's super cool. I kind of want to throw them in here for now. I need to craft some grow beds for them. But for now, I'm just going to throw them in there along with the marble, the marble seeds, which I got, by the way, from Marguerite's greenhouse. I went by her greenhouse and I got a whole bunch of stuff from there. I'm thinking about actually creating like a second floor. Let me see here. Let me pull out my habitat builder if I have it on me. I want to see if I can craft stairs because I want to I think I want to build a second floor to kind of act as like a, a greenhouse. You know what I mean? I don't think I can. Maybe if I go in here? Nah, there's no room for it. We'll figure that part out. Oh, I also have... Oh, there's so much I want to show you guys. Look at these guys. Dude, they're so fucking creepy. This is the first time seeing them uh, since I brought them in here as little eggs. They hatched. Hey, guy. That's so creepy, man. But those are my babies. I wonder if they're good for me to take them outside. I kind of want to leave them in here for now. The sea monkeys, I want to take them outside for sure. I like them outside because they can like bring me stuff. And the uh, the penguin as well. Let me throw these guys outside real quick. I love having pets, man. It's like the coolest thing ever. I want like an army of sea monkeys so they can like just go out and get me stuff. Okay, I need more water. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I need that. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I need more. Uh, I realize that I don't see any more bladder fish lately. You know what I mean? I don't know what's going on, but someone's eating all the bladder fish. It might be uh, Frankie over there. Here's one. Oh, here's another. Okay, I think I have three total. That should be fine. All right, I think I'm in the right area. I just need to uh, find a way to get on land. This looks promising right here. Maybe. Nope. Honestly, I don't really know where to go. Maybe here? I hope I'm in the right place. I mean, this has to be it, you know? Maybe if I go under here, and then... Okay, no, not that way. I'm wondering if I... Like, here. Yeah, here we go. I was kind of looking for something like this. 
Oh, crap. Yeah, perfect. Alright, let's hop out here. And, um, let's see. Do we need to take anything with us? Um, I'm gonna leave... Well, I don't really have space, but I wanna leave the Sea Glide behind. Because I don't really need that. I might need the, uh, Pengling. I'm gonna take that, take the remote. Take the spare battery, sure. The flare. So someone told me that the flare is actually really good against um, snow stalkers. I don't know if there's any snow stalkers here, but um, dude, wait, how many? Okay, pause. But how am I gonna craft? I don't think I can craft that without a fabricator. Was I supposed to craft that back at the fabricator? Probably. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to to craft the hover pad. I forgot about that part. Let me see real quick. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but the hover pad. Where is it? Yeah, okay. So it looks like I need the um, exterior modules. That must be for the habitat builder. So here. Okay. Let's, um, I kind of want to stay warm. Can I craft it here? Maybe it has to be like flat land. I saw it. It was green a second ago. Maybe on the ice? Well, that's not fair. Yo, I hope there are no snow stalkers here. <laughs> Those things are terrifying. Dude, why can I not craft this thing? Anywhere. Oh, right there. Let's do it right there. Cool. Can I pack it up? By the way, I can always deconstruct it, I guess. Okay. Let's try this. Oh, that's badass. I can't wait to try that out. But it doesn't really look like I'll need it here, because this area looks really small. Unless there's more to it. Either way, I want to try this thing out. What is this guy? <laughs> Destroy snowman. So I have a feeling, um... How do I get on this thing? Bro, get on. Okay, there we go. Woo! Oh my gosh. Yo, that is cool. Wait, how do I stare? St stare, steer. How do I steer this thing? Oh my gosh. Yo, this is... Oh my god, yo, this is fun as fuck! Oh, that's cool. This is really, really cool. It's kind of hard to control a little bit, but... That might be a me problem. A user error. Hey, is this not like the same island where... I started from? So I feel like the snow fox would be really... Like, really good in like an open field, you know? Like, back on the, uh the glacial bay area yeah this is not conducive for a snow fox yeah have i been here before i think i have yeah i definitely have right alan what is this place or not it is architect technology standard for my people well nothing that your people do is standard to me what is it this facility provides the means for rapid travel. It seems to be inactive. Without a vessel of my own, this site is not of any great utility. I see. Okay, so it's a, uh, like a portal or something? Is that what he's saying? Yeah, it is. We've got to activate this thing. But how? I wonder where it goes. I wish I brought like a flashlight. So normally I would only need like an ion cube for this, but I don't know. There must be like another gate somewhere that I can activate that'll take me back here, you know? So otherwise, I don't think there's anything else here for me to see. I just got to remember that it's here. What's that sound? I hear something like moving. Okay, that's cool. Anything here for me to scan? 
Anything at all? We already have the coffee machine. Let me hop on my handy dandy snow fox. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder, can I like... Here, real quick, can I pack it up? Yeah, let's pack it up. I need to use it back on the, um... The, uh, the other land area. You know, the fire robotic center? Like, I want to take it there. Here, it's kind of... It's too bumpy. It's too narrow. It's not really built for this. I can tell. Okay, so what else can we, uh, discover or explore here? Anything here? There's a lot of stuff here. What did Altera use oh this place God. for? Researchers here were trying to find me. Yo, it is so dark here. Can I hold this, um... I was gonna see if I could hold the, uh... <laughs> the ion cube, because it, like, it provides a little lighting. Yeah, I definitely should have brought, um, something... ...to light up the area. I can scan what? What am I scanning? Oh, the bulkhead. Sure. Anything else here? Got a PDA? While other teams have been pursuing more nebulous approaches to awakening the architects, I've tried to take a more practical approach. We know these part organic, part digital beings stored what they thought of as themselves on computers within their sanctuaries, and we know efforts to wake or communicate with them have been in vain. My theory is that to make first contact, these digital ghosts must first be recombined with an organic component. As Dr. Kaz Slaney's classic study noted, we know they had means to grow cybernetic bodies and to transfer their data patterns between them. There Dude, is I'm a stuck. known probable Here architect sanctuary in this sector, but entry is not currently possible. If I can get inside and present the right vessel, I do think we will be successful. Okay. I so wanted to know too much about architects. I could not let her. She was, what do you call them, Volterran. What did you think she would do to you? She might have discovered the gateway to our own world. I thought it wiser not to take the chance. Smart. Very smart. Okay, so we also got another PDA. Don't take your kids to work day. Hey, Sam. You want to say hi to my kids? I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. <laughs> of course. Hi, Orin. Hi, Svea. Tell us what you're working on. Oh, um, this is a personal project. It looks more like biology than robotics. Yeah, I was just thinking, I know no one is on my side with this, but... What if I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I, uh, I wouldn't say no one is on your side. I'm on your side. I know, but you won't say anything to Emmanuel or Zeta, anyone. What effect would it have if I did? I'm not exactly employee of the month right now. I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more. What? What are you working on there? And what do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh... Is that thing still recording? Oh, right. Uh, so, that was Sam, kids. I'll turn this off now. <laughs> that was funny. Ooh, a multi-purpose glass dome. Nice. Yeah, so I'm kind of debating whether or not I should uh, craft a, a greenhouse of my own with, like, different grow beds. And then put, like, a glass dome on top. I think I might do that. That might, like, I might do that in its own video. Motivational posters were banned from Xenoworks following a lengthy discussion at the annual company retreat three years ago. This poster is technically contraband. That's so weird. Banning motivational posters? Why? Okay, we're not going to read that right now. Ooh, a water filtration machine. We definitely need that. Big time. I'm going to craft that like right away. Oh, yeah. I'm really happy about that. And a vending machine. Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. <gasps> Woo! I think I got like another PDA, didn't I? Um, I forgot what it was called. I think it was under... I think it was this one right here. Okay. Here's another one. 
It's a lot of reading. Um, okay. I'm just going to keep... I'll read those later. Yeah, so after this, I want to go find the Omega Lab. So apparently what I was able to figure out is that um, Marguerite and Sam, like, I guess, sabotaged Altera by... I don't know, something with explosives, I think. So the, um, they try to, like, sabotage the Omega Lab, I think, by planting explosives or something. I I'm not really sure. I didn't really get that part. But um, they destroyed the lab, I think. Or that's what I was able to gather. I might be wrong about that. And then I think they did the same thing, or at least Marguerite did, for um, the excavation site with the frozen Leviathan. And unfortunately, Sam got caught in that, so she died. <gasps> so did Marguerite actually kill Sam, like, without meaning to? Inadvertently? Inad I think that's the word. Seek shelter. Did Marguerite inadvertently kill Sam? Maybe. Okay, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything left for us to uh, see here. Oh my god. That was way too close. <laughs> it was way too close. Okay, there's nothing here. So, yeah, I think we're good. I think we can uh, call it a day. Do I need to uh, deconstruct the hover pad? Maybe, because I don't think there's a way to pack it up, is there? What am I doing? Yeah, I don't think I can, like, just pack this thing up. Here, let me go get some heat real quick. Robin is freezing right now. I guess I can also eat the, uh, I have one. Li okay, it's old. It's fine. Oh, what's that? Sea glide fragment? No, thank you. Yeah, let's go ahead and, like, deconstruct this thing. I don't think I need it anymore, now that I have the snow fox. But just in case, we'll deconstruct it. Build another one if we have to. Alright, let's go back. Okay, we're finally in the, the li lily pad area. Which is good, because I was getting nervous. I was having a hard time finding it. And then I saw those, uh, the leviathan, the chupacabra, or whatever it's called. So I was getting really nervous about that. Alright, so we're looking for a lab. I'm gonna assume... I mean, I've been over here before and I didn't see anything like that, so... I don't really know what to expect. So I'm gonna assume that we have to go down into like a cave or something like that. So I wanna keep my eyes down here somewhere. Maybe, um... Like, I feel like I've been down here, you know? I don't know. I might have to get out and do some exploring. Yo, that um, N6M, that artifact is pretty close. So I came over here for the... Here we go. The Mercury piece. So we've been over here for this. I don't think I've been past this point, though. Or just, like, explored in general. Guys, I found this massive rock. Look at the size of this thing. And it's being held up by the lily pads. I see a couple crates over here. Let me go check this out real quick. Should I hop out or should I continue in the truck? Let's actually continue in the truck. I see lights. It's always a good sign. Oh! What do we have here? Oh, we found it! The Omega Lab. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. That was really, that was really lucky. Antenna fruit. I feel like, tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like there's a lot more different like fruit in this game. A lot more variety, you know? It feels that way. In terms of like consumables and stuff. Oh, we need that. <laughs> we desperately need the swim charge fins. Oh, by the way, I have that now. The fins, I can craft that, but I also unlocked, I think it was Sam's suit. I think. It was a new suit. I didn't really look at it. Let me find it real quick. I might need to craft that as well. Because it looked like from, from the looks of it, it's meant to protect you from the cold. 
Here it is. The cold suit. That's why I fought that. Oh, and that's really easy to make. I just need... Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, dear. Two snow stalker fur and two fiber mesh. I got the fiber mesh. Um, the snow stalker fur. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and uh, grab some of those. I know where to find them, <laughs> obviously. I think I did grab some. If I'm lucky, I would have grabbed three. If not, I think, I think I'm going to have to go back and grab some. That might be a fun adventure. Is there a way, is there a way inside? There has to be, right? So I'm like notorious for assuming that these are like glass when it's not. Oh, I can go into the front door. Okay, let's start over here. All right. Aromatherapy lamp. I need one of those. Okay, this is a notes. Okay. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. Yeah, so I was kind of half listening, but here, let me actually pull it up. Investigation notes, a mega lab was first breached by a heavy impact, perhaps from a sea truck modified with some sort of battering implement. Yeah, so that was definitely Marguerite. She's been trying to sabotage their uh, their plans now for a while. Okay, I need to um, I need to go get it real quick. And Sam was in on it. She was definitely in on it. Except Marguerite, you know, is a little bit extreme. It wasn't Sam's idea to explode everything. Um, I think the other... Here, let me grab the other tank. I left it in here. If I can... Dude, the, uh, the snow fox takes up so much space. Let me... Just drop some random stuff in here. I should probably eat that. Um, it doesn't give me any water, but... Will that give me water? No. Oh, yeah, the antenna fruit. I've got a... There's a Bottle whole bunch out here. What am I worried about? Let me just pick a couple of these. I just need to keep at least one, right? Or how about I, um, where's my knife? I don't have my knife on me. I was going to see if I can get seeds out of them. Okay, let's go back in. Yeah, but, uh, Marguerite, <laughs> Marguerite's on some guerrilla warfare type shit. We've studied the first corral bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original pustules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Oh my god, these guys. Not very smart. Not very smart at all. They don't realize that by doing this, they can expose, like, they can release the carotid, like, the bacteria can get out, and then they're gonna have a whole new problem on their hands, you know? They're definitely underestimating how, like, destructive the virus can be, or the bacterium. My thing is, if the architects couldn't contain it, and they're, like, an advanced species, what makes you think that we can, you know? Or Altera. Ugh, just corporate greed, you know what I mean? Alright. So I want to go check out this spot over here, N6M. I think we have a little bit of time. I want to go see if I can grab it. But I don't want to force it, you know? If it's too deep, then 
I'm just gonna leave it be. Oh, this area looks kind of cool. Hold up. <gasps> oh, no. Nope. <laughs> We're gonna swim over here. Oh, there's the, uh, the vent garden thing. Oh, so this is where it lives. Yeah, I've never been over here before. Okay, I might not make it down to the artifact, but I at least want to look around. This is kind of cool. I think I already have this guy scanned. Don't I? Yeah, I do. Very cool. Alright, let's, um... Let's see how far we can go. What is that? Holy crap! No way. Bro, you have to be kidding me. Yo, I thought... Garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Yo, I thought the one I just saw, I thought that was the adult. No, that was a juvenile one. It didn't, like, click. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, dude. Oh, we have to scan it, of course. Something's trying to bite me. Yo, this is incredible. Oh my god. That's insane. I thought the juvenile one was like the biggest thing I've ever seen, but... Then I saw the eye jellies. Rising temperatures detected in mineral rich fissure below. And those are pretty cool. And then this guy. That's insane. Okay, I think we can make it. Although I don't see a way down. I should grab these rubies. Seek fluid intake immediately. I know, I know, I know. And I didn't bring my, um... I didn't bring my thermal blade, so... We're gonna have to make this quick. Alright. We found it. Cool. Okay. I thought maybe, um... What's his face? Alan ha would have something to say, but I guess not. All right, let's get out of here. Guys, look how cool that is. I can't get over it. I love it. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for all the support and love. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay blessed. Peace.